Many believe Prague to be the most beautiful city capital in Europe. And even though I haven't seen all of the city capitals yet around here, I believe they're not so far away from the truth. The combination of the Gothic towers and the architecture of the Charles Bridge alongside the Vltava River makes this a very attractive city to visit. So here are 10 places to see in the city of Prague. So I believe the most important place that you should visit in Prague is the Old Town Square. This is for sure the heart of the old city center in Prague and over there you find a couple of interesting buildings. The first one being the Church of Our Lady, which is this huge church with a very impressive architecture. And the second place is to visit the astronomical clock is dated to the 15th century and is known to be the oldest astronomical clock in the world. They state that every hour there's a procession of apostles appearing from the clock. So be sure to be on time so you can watch this show. Unfortunately for us during our visit, this clock tower was closed because it was under construction. But for sure it's one of the main attractions to see there on the old town square. From here you can head into the direction of the powder tower. This is one of the city's oldest Gothic structures. This tower served as a gate in the past of the old city center. And now it's a museum that tourists can climb all the way to the top of the tower to have some nice views of the city. Now, depending where you're staying at, maybe this will be the first place you can visit and then go to the old square and the astronomical clock because from there you can head straight down to the Blatna River to see the Charles Bridge. This 600 year old bridge is one of the most popular landmarks also from Prague. Over there you will find it full of artists and people selling stuff. You will enjoy the nice view of the city of Prague from there. You can also see the Prague castles from the other side. Also cross by another of the Gothic towers that is in Prague. The next destination you should definitely go to is the Prague castle area. This is known to be one of the large castle complexes in the world and it has served as a residence for previous Czech kings, Holy Roman Emperors and presidents of Czechoslovakia. Inside the castle grounds you'll find the St. Vitus Cathedral. This is a very spectacular cathedral that you can definitely not miss out when you're visiting the Prague Castle. Another interesting place that we visited during our stay was the dancing house area. This modern building looks like two people dancing together and this is why it's called like this. But the area around here is also a very nice place to walk around and have some nice pictures alongside the Vltava river. Also another very interesting place we visited after crossing the Charles Bridge was the Wallenstein Palace. This baroque style palace serves now as the Senate of the Czech Republic but you can walk around the beautiful gardens over there, the fountains, enjoy the palace from the outside which we found to be quite a beautiful area to visit. One of the great experiences we had over there was taking a cruise alongside the Vltava River. This is a very nice thing to do over there because you can have very nice views of the city from a different perspective and if you plan to do this cruise during sunset then it will even be a better experience overall. One last thing to recommend to do that we did not have the time to do it was visiting the Petrin Tower. From the looks of it, from there you will definitely have also a very nice view of the city and enjoy a little bit of the green areas of the city of Prague. Also, if you're interested in more green areas of the city, then the Letna Park is also a nice place to visit. Hey! 
So that's about it from the recommendations I can give you for visiting the city of Prague. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. You can visit my channel to check out more playlists from cities around Europe or subscribe to my channel for any future releases. See you guys until next time. Pura vida. ¿Qué es esto, man? Es el bar más antiguo de la República Checa, del año 1300. Es como tomar en, una, en un dungeon. <risa> Luego de haber matado a los dragones. De, cuando uno termina de conquistar <risa> las tierras vecinas, entonces viene y celebra aquí. Estamos en el tren que nos va a llevar a Budapest, desde Praga, un mini campo. Hay pantuflas, sí, no, yo solo vi los paños. Hay pantuflas. Uh, pantuflas. Y jaboncito. Who is going to Budapest? This guy.